So the problem is, is that this microwave uh, seems to run. I'm going to plug it in right now. It's unplugged because it won't run. But if I plug it in, you hear it running. Um, hear that sound? So it's running even though the, none of the lights are on. You can cancel. There's nothing going. And open the door. It's not running. But when I close it, you can hear it running. So... I uh, found out that if you take this apart, I think we can probably fix it. has to do with the door switch in here. So I'm going to unplug it, and then we'll get in there and see if we can't fix it. All right. I had to unscrew this piece. There's two screws, one here, one here on my model. Um, and basically, this piece gets removed. Set the screws down here. Let's take that out. And then we have a screw on top here to take off this panel, because the panel here is what we have to get access to. So after you get the screw out of here, the key to get this piece to come up is to lift up on it. If I can get this in here while I do it, and it slides up. And you'll see here as I take it off, it's notched on this side. Right up here we have a little notch that goes in there. And the same down here. And then it's hinged on the bottom, right here. Um, and then the place where the, this little piece right here is the place. Let's see if we can get where so we can see it better. This little part of the door that goes in, the, um, there's a switch in there, and that is what has problems. So to get better access to that, I'm going to take off this black panel here so we have access to that side. All right, I removed this screw here. And I got to get this one off here. To do that, I'm actually going to lift this out of this. And I'm going to need two hands to hang on to this part here while I'm taking out the screw. All right. So I got this screw out here and up here. And now I should be able to just kind of sneak this guy out of here. So as it turns out, this is easier to remove with two hands, so I paused it there quick. So now we're going to see if I can not get an inside shot here of what's going on. And you can see the switching, and i got to use my light here, so you can see how this switches up on top. Basically, um this white thing here has to push forward and, and make contact with with this uh, little part up here and that's what tells it that the door is open same is true for this switch down here Let's see if we it's all in place here Just kind of click that in and out. Let's see if that did the trick. All right, so I closed her up here. Um, we're gonna plug it in again. And you notice it's not making that sound anymore. I think we got lights on our thing. Yep. So we're all good. I'm just gonna put the screws back in. And we should be all set. That should have done it. Um, so this happened. I don't know if there's something up that switch, but just re kind of pushing that switch in and out, it seems like it, something doesn't get quite set right. Because I took it apart and fixed it probably a month ago um, and didn't have any problems with it until here just today. So hopefully it works for a while again. Maybe I won't have to replace it.